Scarlet Goldfinch and Sockalish are not the only two activity clusters that use the browser update ruse. And so this is an initial access vector to really keep an eye on. Scarlet Goldfinch is a cluster of activity that we first observed in late June, 2023. This activity group deceives users into downloading a file masquerading as a browser update, which starts a chain of activity eventually leading to the install of Net Support Manager. Net Support Manager is a remote monitoring and management tool that provides the adversary remote control over the system. For initial access, Scarlet Goldfinch tricks users into visiting a compromised website with a lure indicating that a browser update is needed. The alert tricks the users into downloading a zip file, which in line with this browser update ruse has names like update installer.zip or update install.zip. The zip contains the first stage JScript malware that is executed via wscript.exe. This initial stage may download and write additional stages, and we have observed a change of tactics for the second stage. From June to September 2023, Scarlet Goldfinch second stage was uniquely implemented as batch files and BBS scripts that issued commands to the command and control to download and install Net Support Manager. However, starting around October 2023, the first st stage JScript file began spawning an obfuscated PowerShell command rather than the batch script. The PowerShell command makes a network connection to Scarlet Goldfinch controlled command and control infrastructure to retrieve additional components to download and install the Net Support Manager. Scarlet Goldfinch establishes persistence for the Net Support payload using Windows Registry, Run Keys, and Scheduled Tasks. Adversary use of remote monitoring and management tools is a concerning trend because these tools can often operate with the veneer of legitimacy. And Scarlet Goldfinch's use of Net Support Manager fits this concerning trend. RMM tools offer a large set of remote administration features, and many organizations already use RMM tools for legitimate purposes within their organization, such as applying updates, managing assets, and deploying software. So these tools can really help an adversary blend into the environment. At first, Scarlet Goldfinch looked a lot like Sock Goldish, also known as fake updates but we quickly started to notice key differences that caused our team to track Scarlet Goldfinch as a distinct activity from Sock Goldfinch. Although both Scarlet Goldfinch and Sock Goldfinch begin with JavaScript files distributed with the facade of being a web browser update, the actions taken after this initial intrusion ruse uh, differ significantly. While historically net support has been a common payload of choice for Sock Goldfinch, the group began showing a preference for other remote access tools in 2022, and this trend continued into 2023. To defend against these tools, it really comes down to a strict inventory management. So really knowing which RMM tools are allowed and whitelisted into your network and looking for any deviations from that. Um, if unsure if an RMM tool is being used maliciously, look at what is normal for these applications. Adversaries will often change the file name, download and run it from a non-standard directory, or make suspicious network connections. Because this lure can be particularly tricky and particularly convincing, user training alone may not be completely effective and mitigation or remediation measures should be implemented. For example, changing the default program that opens and executes JavaScript files to something other than Windows Script Host can be a really helpful control that stops this activity from executing automatically. Mm -hmm.